Welcome to the Governance 2021 Task Force presentation to the 43rd General Assembly of FIG. My sincere greetings to friends and colleagues in our FIG family. I hope you and your loved ones are safe and in good health. For many of us, the past few months have been challenging. Many parts of our daily routines today would have been unimaginable as we started 2020. Sadly, the FIG Working Week 2020 and the General Assembly was cancelled due to the COVID-19 situation. So as we can continue to live and work in challenging circumstances, I wanted to reach out to you. The Task Force on Governance has remained hard at work and we have put together a two part series, pre-recorded webinar, if you like. Via this two part series, I wish to keep you updated and ensure that we can remain connected. So right now I'm going to go through part one. This presentation is the presentation that would be submitted to the 43rd General Assembly. It will be the second presentation, which will be the round table. We'll talk about that in the next webinar. So for now, I really want to talk about what you asked the task force to do, what we've done and what we've delivered to date. I'll also talk a little bit about and unpack the engagement that we've done with you online and the web material that's available for you. So let me start. What you asked. The task force references as statutes and internal rules. You'll see the picture in on the slide. Our objective then is to ask, is the FIG structure really fit for the future, fit for you as members? So we wanted to review and investigate the governance framework. Uh, we wanted then to make sure we can meet the future needs and your expectations. So that means we have to engage with you, analyse what you may say to us, and then we will report to council, which will be presented to the General Assembly at the working week next year. And you've heard me say this before, it's all about a journey. We've got to be collaborative with each other and transparent. So it's an active engagement with you and your colleagues. I want us to ask what you think, listen to what you have to say, and then the core team will analyse and hopefully come up with some real positive, mind-blowing ideas. But as I said in Hanoi last year, if our journey is to be successful, we do need you to purposefully and continually engage over the months ahead. So, OK, let me just quickly whiz through this in terms of what we've done. So in May last year, it was Hanoi with the roundtable. Throughout the rest of the year, e-newsletters were going out. And we also tried um, very tentatively an online debating platform between the core team. More of that perhaps when we all meet again. During September and November was the online questionnaire, the SWOT analysis, which is the basis of what we're talking about. And in January, we were able to develop key issues and actually provide a thematic summary during March, which helped draft questions which were going to be in readiness for the working week discussions. And in April, we were able to uplate, upload futures, uh, a piece I'll talk about in a moment or two. So what with the COVID-19 situation, we're migrating the material that we were going to present onto this web platform in this two part series. Now, just very briefly, I want to just point out the uh, because not everybody is familiar with the navigating on the FIG web page. To get all this material, the link is at the top of this slide. But if you go to the web page, that banner at the top, look for organisations, drop it down. In that drop down will be, will be task forces. Click on that. That second picture, the middle picture, just gives you a screenshot. On it, it has internal task forces. Click on that. It gives you that third screenshot. And there you will see governance 2019 to 2021. 
all the material is available for you to access. So as I said, GA reporting was going to be via that paper that was submitted, along with an appendix, which you already have. It was really going to be interactive, talking at round tables with the member associations, the regional bodies, and then, of course, reporting back at the second GA. So instead, I'm just giving you the overview now. And I did say to you, I would just touch upon the engagement we've done and unpack it a little by way of background information for you. And why have we done this approach in terms of an online structure? Well, it was so that you could continually be updated and engaged. And the main topic was that strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats known as a SWOT. And why we did that was so that we'd all be on the same hymn sheet and listen to you without having our own preconceived ideas of what your opinions might be. So we wanted to gain your insights and your preferred direction of travel. So on the strengths and weaknesses, and amazingly, perhaps some of you won't be surprised, but it was fabulous to read quotes like this. It is absolutely amazing platform for worldwide professional cooperation. But also we noticed the disconnect that some members feel. Do you know, we've got to do better. We cannot become complacent. And so we need to bring everybody together. And that means asking, how on earth do we respond? And that's what the task force is trying to discuss and debate with you. Interestingly, in that SWAT piece, um, I called it frequently asked questions because what we got were several questions that were sit the answer was sitting in the FIG statutes, internal rules and guidelines. So what we thought we would do is just put a short paper together to point, if you like, where those answers are in our rules. And it's really supplementary, but it's for your information and available on the web page. That piece about futures I mentioned, well, this is because we can't possibly think of what we want to be fit for if we don't have sort of a feeling of what we are going into. Uh, we all individually have this feeling, but do we have it collectively? So there were two questions, number seven and eight, which looked at trends and asked your view really on the future of the profession as well as the future of the professional association. And by way of getting this market intelligence of these trends, we would hope that A, we can share it. And my own member association, the RICS, uh, has quite a bit, so I've uploaded that already. But please do upload your own member association's work. And we've called you to action, if you like, and would like you to do this by, or let us know by the 9th of July, and we will upload it for you. It will inform other debates, not just this task force, but other groupings and meetings that we will have going forward. So really, Collaboration is the, the theme. Um, I do, as you know, welcome your active engagement. And believe you me, I will keep asking you and I will also keep listening along with the rest of my core team members because we are going to analyse what your expectations are if you tell them to us. So this journey is important and um, we do need to do it together. And the next uh, presentation, Part two of this series will be the round table and it will unpack your ideas and comments and hopefully lead a little bit more to the direction of travel that you would like to see. Because our report is going to say, do we need to change formally our statutes and rules as per uh, the, the picture on the slide? Or is it only an informal change where we adopt slightly different practices? Time will tell in the next few months. So in terms of the timeline, well, June is now. The Roundtable webinar part two is available right now. I will be talking to ACO early in July. By the end of July, please do send your constructive critiques when you listen to the round table. And also, if there's further consultations, we can arrange those. The initial draft report will be around September with the core team sense checking some of those ideas in December so that we can submit to council in February. 
So one more time, I'm going to prompt your engagement. And I really do look forward to collaborating with you and look forward to sharing this journey because success will only happen if we do it together. Thank you so very much.